Chapter 17 The Intimate Nature of Chemical Processes What is the physical state of a simple body, for example? It is a complex field. The harmonious integration of those energetic elements in the same form and determination of a light field. See the previous chapter. Each atom is, therefore, within the same lighting scheme, a specific integration of energy by whose outermost electron or planet the chemical reactions of which said atom is capable in the presence of the other bodies that have infinity affinity with it. This planet, like a center of gravity, has a centripetal action by which another atom of lower mass is at convenient distance and can be attracted through its most external energy and in the dynamic tendency of the latter being a satellite of the first because these the external energies of which we are dealing with form by that ontological necessity already referred to a dynamic system engendered by the hyperbolic centrifuge between both and secured by the cosmic thrust of the terrestrial environment however when this moon is penetrated into the complex field of the first atom, a predominant center because it is more serious, a new and profitable conflict arises. The moon then falls within the heavens or hyperbolic spaces. The, nat the natural centrifuge of these intra-atomic spaces is clear, it is now being disturbed by the integration of the new element and they must necessarily result in one of these two things. Either said, moon, either said moon is cosmically pushed further towards the center, or on the contrary, repelled to the outside of the functional atom fundamental. In the first case, given that the moon marches with the, the entire planetary procession of its own atom, the planets with the greatest mass or most intense elliptical field of this will finally come to confront the less intense ones of the first system. The reverse action or by which these tend to be satellites of the former is inevitable and these satellite movements so to speak in opposite directions will produce the equilibrium of the static molecule. Not only the equilibrium but the shape of its building. It is that the dynamics of matter does not exist except in its nascent state. The fact that there are bodies whose radicals are in turn compounds or intelligibly molecules does not imply anything contrary to this new form of scientific thought, since in this case everything depends on a momentary imbalance in the nascent state. But the second case, which are so intelligible, we will only say that it serves to explain chemical non-affinity. There is still a question, however, as if it were an open question to nature. What role does heat energy play in chemical reactions? This is self-explanatory. Every field, when adapted to a more serious one, is reduced at the expense of its own internal heat, to the extent of a transformation of itself as a new state or mass. It is an exothermic reaction, being of course this energy heat, this heat energy, a doubling of the cosmic time, in which the planetary electrons of the atom or molecule system of matter are contained in its nascent state. That's how heat energy is not a storage of energy in the systemic in the systemic in the systematic in the systematic plot of bodies but one of the thousand specific forms of the essential principle that contains it cosmic time those unfoldings that we have just seen are feasible that is they can be because time as the essential principle of rest is which in which the geometric form is contained as an intrinsic expression of the substance is not a quantum a fixed quantity on the plane of nature but the unity the simple and inexhaustible principle always correlative 
correlative with the form it contains. The new elements, the electron planets that, like satellites, sink into the spaces or hyperbolic fields of the fundamental atom, they give a specific correlativity, correlativity by which the form of these, despite the substantial reduction, remains identically similar to itself. But since this, the form, is as we've said, correlative to time, there will inevitably be, after the aforementioned change, a denser space and a broader time. That is to say, here the rhythm of any engine introduced into the space surrounding the small planet becomes slower. This is surprising, wonderful, inexplicable if we do not take into account that it is only a phenomenon of similarity. It's that all the facts of nature are nothing but geometric spatial relationships. Heat energy is not, for all this, a disintegration per se, but rather a doubling of the form caused by a cosmic disorder in the intraplanetary field of the new moon or satellite. It is the intimate formation within this field of incompatible times that exclude and repel each other at the moment of forming a hyperbolic continuum uncontainable by the planet and caused by the promiscuity of the interplanetary field with that of the atomic medium that contains it like a satellite. Consequently, a momentary centrifugal force is determined inside it, sufficient to produce a heat explosion as a providence of accommodation to the environment. Remember the reduction of the light spectrum in the solar environment. The new geometric shapes are dizzying vectors that are lost in the form of a radiation, the infinity of spaces. These radiations of, or heat waves, as must also happen to light, are susceptible to the same modifications and acts of accommodations in the infinite medium it passes through. There are, there cannot but be, sub iridations as lost facts, perhaps for our laboratory assessments. It seems that nature is inexhaustible in its energy train, and it is without a doubt, because the infinite mass cannot take effect within its splendid picture. Remember the previous chapters in this regard, however, since this chapter seems to have no limit, and since it would be easy, so easy, after what has been essentially said, to extend it, we'll limit it here by briefly referring to the single unit atom, the atom. This name suggests the idea of a whole as a body unit contained within its own limits. For the purpose of calculation, for the chemist who studies the quantities and proportions contained in the law that governs the reaction phenomenon, this can be accepted without sensible error because in truth, the atomic structure is contained within such a narrow radius that all of it appears to intelligence as a single and simple whole completed by the infinite space of its eternal field, external field being of course intelligible that this field is a content between the sensible radius of the said chemical unit and the infinite and that it also expresses the said field in elliptical space representable without great error by the whale integral. This field is always assumed to be concentrated in the mass of the sensitive radius contained in the lower limit of that integral, but as long as certain facts of transmutation are not explained or considered, the ordinary atomic radius prevails. The whale integral is therefore, without noticeable error, the most universal expression of that unit in all its manifestation of radius and mass, since it gives us the integral happiness the variation of these elements in all circumstances have the content of mass. As we've said, it varies according to the radius of lower limit and infinity and the understanding, of course, 
that the entire field or external space behaves as a content of the sensible mass already referred to. We conclude then by saying that certain vital events, many biological actions in nature, have their entire explanation within ordinary processes of chemistry and its intimate understanding by the spirit.